Hey guys, Zach Bouton from Stone Glacier. Just wanted to talk to you about our late season layering. And this is the kit that I run here on the table. I'm gonna run you through it. And as far as late season goes, for us, this is really that early November all the way into January, February, and just depending on what hunts and what states, you know, that time frame is gonna have typically pretty similar weather. So the temperature ranges for those hunts really could be from negative 20 up to mid 40s, but I'd say that this kit really excels in that zero to 30 degree temperature range. So we'll kind of work through what I got laid out on the table. This is what I would carry with me on a late season hunt. Uh, I got two pants here, so I'd pick one of those obviously, but we'll work from skin out to the outer layer. So um, next to skin stuff, I'm gonna be rocking our Merino boxers. I'm gonna be wearing an over the calf sock. This is a Fitz uh, light hunter, 65% Merino. The rest is like a poly nylon spandex, spandex blend. And I really like the over the calf for late season just comes up on the leg and with the gaiters provides a little bit of extra warmth, which is nice. So moving on to pants, I really have two options and that's our de Havilland pant or the M7. And the de Havilland pant, that's just our general season all around pants is a great pant. And then the M7, HydroShield SS, waterproof, breathable fabric, fleece backed, really, really great late season pant when it gets down into that 30 and below and really 20 and below. So for me, deciding between these two, if there's no snow on the ground and it's 20 and above, I'm going to Havilland. If there's a lot of snow on the ground or it's in that 20 to 30 and below, I'm going M7. And I don't, sometimes I'll carry Merino bottoms in my pack, but honestly, I don't usually use them. So the pants here, uh, that's typically enough for me for late season stuff. On top, I'm gonna to be rocking our synthetic hoodie. And I picked synthetic over Merino just because I like how fast this thing dries. And typically on the hunts I'm doing, I'm having high exertion, hiking, moving around, climbing country, and then I'm stopping and I'm sitting and I'm glassing. And as far as my warmth goes and most people, if you can get that moisture away from the skin faster, you're gonna get warmer quicker and being warm on the glassing knob is gonna keep you glassing longer, which is pretty critical for finding animals on a lot of these hunts. So from there, I'll typically be rocking the Helio hoodie over the top, and that's gonna work in a lot of conditions, especially if it's not windy or super, super cold. If we start getting into that 15 and below, or we have really high winds and I'm hiking in exposed areas, I'll swap it out for the M7 jacket. And again, waterproof breathable shell, fleece backed. So if it is windy or if it is really cold, it's just an extra layer of warmth for me. And it helps me just regulate my temperature a little better. The Helio has that checkered material, so it's super breathable, but the wind will cut through it. Um, once I've got up into position to where I'm gonna be slowing down, and glassing um, over long periods of time. I'm gonna be looking at what insulation I'm taking. And for late season hunts, I think down products really excel for me. Most of the time, any precipitation you're gonna get is gonna be frozen. And if it's really snowing, you're honestly gonna be wearing a waterproof uh, outer shell anyways. So we shouldn't be too worried about if our insulation package is gonna be getting wet or not. And down, really two big benefits and that's packability and weight. And on late season hunts, you're already packing a ton of crap, so there's no sense in having extra weight and extra size in your insulation layers. So I'll be running the Grumman jacket, the Grumman vest, and the Grumman pants. And if I have all of this stuff on at one time, I bet I can sit really comfortably for 30 to 60 minutes, probably all the way down to negative 10, I'd say. Um, the nice thing about having multiple upper uh, down pieces is that I can combine them, wear one of them. A lot of times when I'm backpacking, I'll use an extra one just as a pillow, which works super nice. Um, and yeah, can't really say enough good things about the Grumman Goose Down Pants. If you've ever sat on a glassing knob and had a pair of pants like this, you'll notice a huge difference in your overall body warmth from not wearing that 
and just wearing, you know, a single pant to throwing these on and having your legs super warm. It just really helps keep your total body temperature up. So uh, a few other things to round out the kit. I always rock our cuff beanie. This is just a great way to keep your head warm. Your head and your neck will lose a lot of heat. So having something to just retain that is going to help you regulate your body temperature better. I also like to take our Merino neck gaiter. Again, something that's light, easy to stuff in the pack and just those odds and end spots, or even in a waist or in a thigh pocket on our pant. So if I'm hiking, I start to get cold, I can throw this on. If I'm heating up, just pull it off, throw it in my pant pocket and keep moving. And then gloves is really the last item here on the list. So I will typically take three pairs of gloves. For some people that's a little overkill, <clears throat> but if one set of gloves gets wet, I have two. And like the old adage, you know, one is none and two is one. So I'll have a fleece set of gloves. I'll be hiking in these, glassing for short periods of time, uh, wearing these a lot. And then the second pair of gloves is going to be something with a little more durable face fabric. If I'm busting brush, if I'm hiking through a lot of rocks and difficult terrain, I'll throw these on just so I'm not tearing up my other gloves. And then the final piece for me is going to be a mitt style glove. Um, when it's really cold and you're glassing for long periods of time, it can be tough to keep your hands warm. I like the mitts because it allows me to put a hand warmer in here and it stays up in the finger region of the glove. The nice thing about these gloves, which all three of these gloves uh, will be coming out here in the near future, is that this is a waterproof shell and then it's got a insulated liner. So when you use this as a system, it's super warm, especially if you had a hand warmer in there. Or a lot of times I will keep the shell itself handy with the hand warmer in it and I'll be hiking in the fleece glove. And when I get set up on the glassing knob, get all my layers on, get set up, and the last thing I'll do is slip this mitt on with the hand warmer and start glassing. So that's worked really well for me over the years. So. That is the kit for my late season hunts. You know, a lot of these pieces I'll use year round, so it's not overly complicated. Uh, the cool thing about all our products is that you don't have to add a lot to be warm in the late season. And most of this stuff will work from early August to February. So if you guys have any questions about any of our layering systems, feel free to give us a call at the shop and we're happy to help you out.